Hello my dear students. Today we are going to discuss MCQ for PSPD subject. Question number 1. Basic impulse level BIL of a power system is defined as minimum insulation impulse with and voltage of any power equipment or apparatus. So our answer is option A. Question 2. The insulations of modern EHV and UHV line is designed based on switching voltage. Question 3. Power system equipment insulations problems involves selections of basic insulations level of system equipment and lighting arrester. Question number 4. The protections against direct lightning strokes and high voltage step waves is provided by lightning arresters and ground wires. Question number 5. Which of the following factors should be considered the design of transmission line against lightning with ground wire? So our answer is all of the above that means A, B and C which are our correct answers. Now question number 6. Lightning arresters are used in power system to protect electrical equipment against power frequency over voltages. So our answer is option C. Now question number 7. Impulse ratios of insulators and lightning arresters should be. So it should be both high. So our answer is option B. Now question number 8. Which of the following is the protective device against lightning over voltages? So our answer is all of the above that means A, B and C also. Now question number 9. Overhead ground wires are used to protect a transmission line against voltage surges due to direct lightning stock. So our answer is option C. Now question number 10. An overhead transmission line is provided with earth wire for protection against lightning surge. Option B. Number 11. In a tridite lightning arresters, the resistance is high and low at high current. Now question number 12. A lightning arrestor provides low impedance path. Question number 13. Surge absorbers are used for protections against low voltage high frequency oscillations. So our answer is option C. Question number 14. Surge modifiers are employed for reducing the stiffness of wave front. So our answer is option A. Question number 15. A thyroid type lighting arrestor offers a low resistance path to the surge appearing in a line. So our answer is option C. Now question number 16. Are lightning arresters connected between the line earth in a power system protects the terminal equipment against the traveling surges? So our answer is option A. Now question number 17. Which of the following is a non-linear diverter? So our answer is wall type arrestor. Question number 18. A wall type lightning arrestor in a substation should be placed close to the transformer. Now question number 19. Surge absorbers partly absorbs and partly diverts the energy of traveling waves. Question number 20. Coupling factor of a ground wire can be increased by. So it can be increased by all of the above that means A, B and C also. Question number 21. The presence of corona electrostatic coupling increases and electromagnetic coupling remains same. So our answer is option C. Question number 22. When a transmission line is energized, then blank propagate on it. 
So our answer is when the transmission line is energized, voltage wave only and current wave only propagate on it. So our answer is option C, both A and B. Now question number 23. When a wave propagates on a transmission line, it suffers the reflection several times at sending end and other end. Question number 24. Traveling voltage wave and current wave have the same waveform and travel together along the transmission line at a velocity slightly lesser than the light. Now question number 25. For a transmission line, the standing wave ratio is the ratio of maximum voltage to minimum voltage. So the answer is option C. Now question number 26. The stiffness of wave front can be reduced by connecting. So it can be reduced by connecting the option A inductor in series with the line and option B a capacitor between the line and earth. So question number 27. If the load impedance is 100 ohm and input impedance is 25 ohm then the characteristics impedance of the transmission line is 50 ohm. Now question number 28. The insulation strength of an EHV transmission line is mainly governed by so it mainly governed by switching over voltages. So answer is option B. Now question number 29. The insulation coordinations of UHV lines above 500 kV is done based on switching surges. Now question number 13. In comparison to line insulations, the insulation level of this stations equipment is not directly related to the each other. Question number 31. A lightning arrestor is usually located nearer to the transformer. Question number 32. Which system will need the lightning arrestor of least voltage ratings? So our answer is option A. Solid grounded neutral system. Now question number 33. Which of the following is used for providing protections against incoming surges? So our answer is option C. Metal oxide varistor. Question number 34. Angle of zone protections of lighting protection system is approximated 45 degree. Now question number 35. The property of such protection device is to have highly non-linear VI characteristics. Question number 36. A grounding connections to earth from lighting protection system should be made at diagonal corners of the structure. Now question number 37. The zone protection that means surrounding area that a lighting protection system protects is approximately two times the height of building protected. Now question number 38. An air termination should be exceed a minimum of 10 inches above the object that is to be protected. Now question number 39. Electrical arc occurs when the insulation is damaged and there is sufficient current between the conductors. So our answer is option B. 40. The arc will have blank on the nearby equipment. So our answer is option C, both A and B. That means thermal stress only and mechanical stress only. Now question number 40. Insulation resistance of HV circuit breaker is more than 100 mega ohm. And last question, question number 43. Switching surges may be caused by all of the above.